Hi everyone, Renee here with Jade Penguin Jewelry. I'm back again with another Goodwill repurpose box. This one came from Dayton, Ohio, and I got it on 12-4, so I'm a little bit behind on getting this box recorded and opened. It's just been sitting in my craft room for a while. Um, I did get a new computer, so that's been taking up a lot of my technical time, trying to get that set up and everything back online. So here we are with uh, first impressions. All right, so there's bigger pieces in this box than there was in the last box. If you watched my last videos, there's a ton of tiny little itty bitty things in that video, which it turned out there was a lot of 10 karat gold earrings uh, that nobody decided to check the earring studs on themselves. So let's go ahead and grab a handful and see what we have. Okay, we have our first handful. We have a little tray up here for little things or bits and pieces. So we have this type bracelet. It's strung, but it's strung with wire, so it's really good. I don't think anything's missing. But there's no mark, so we'll see if I can find anything. This is just plastic pearls on a string. There's be a lot of bracelets so far. Right, so we have a giant set of keychains. Jamaica, London, Fish, Disney. That fish is really cool. Keychains. Not jewelry, but accessories, I guess. A legless Santa. He's even lost a hoop down at the bottom. So this will probably go in a lot for anybody that makes like those holiday wreaths out of jewelry. I won't really upcycle him too much into anything. Now this is cool. If I can get this other necklace out of there. Alright, got it. So this looks to be the mesh wire flowers. The pin looks to be in good shape. I don't see any hallmarks or anything on it. But that's pretty cool. Probably get, I don't know, 12-ish dollars for him. Unless I find a comp otherwise. There's another brooch. Doesn't have any eyes. He does say something right there. Plak... Plakatow? P-L-A-C-C-A-T-O. I have to look that up. He feels like pewter. So I'll definitely have to look up that name. I've never seen that before. So we have a bangle and a hoop earring and then this necklace, not silver, probably from Claire's, I think I remember finding one like that that had the Claire's or icing tag on it. Really big earring with fake pearls. Bangle, let's see, Mark. Plastic bangle. Ooh, locket brooch. Ooh. Dang it, I think I made it worse. Yay, got it. Okay. I don't see any marks. 
Avon. And it's perfume. Yuck. Oh, it just smells like old makeup. All right, well, that's actually pretty good. It's still in really good condition for something that has, something that is a little bit of moisture. Well, the pot comes right out, that's cool. Unforgettable Solid Perfume, Avon of New York. So that's cool. I can definitely clean that out and get the perfume out of there and sell it. I sold an Avon brooch that was vintage that was gunk shaped not too long ago. So I'm sure there's a market for one that doesn't look like a cartoon skunk. Single earring. Ooh, we got another locket. And it's wrapped around a bunch of other stuff. And that's lip gloss. But it's Avon. On earrings clipped together. Oh. This is ni nice mint green. see any tags on the locket with perfume in it. So you might have to research it. I don't know if a lot of people made perfume lockets. And then the gold one doesn't have a hang tag either, so I'm going to put this over there to be detangled later. Another stretch bracelet that the stretch is almost gone on. Huge stretch bracelet. I always have to kind of think if there's a market for it, and kind of like, of course, there is. Somebody bought it once already. But we gotta see if it's a good resale market. This chain feels really light. It is marked RMN. I'm not familiar with. It seems too light to be a Roman piece. Roman is the name of a jewelry manufacturer that I found out too. I haven't found a complete piece of Roman. Everything always seems broken. A ring. And a earring with little. Feels like gel sticker earring or hearts at the bottom. We have another plastic bangle. And then this necklace it says Holy Communion on it. I don't see any other stamping. This chain's definitely, there's a big knot in it right there. Seen some better times. Little edged cut communion necklace. I'll have to test that one, see if it's silver or not. The third plastic, rose gold colored bangle. Oh, he's fun. Cute little bird. Just marked pinnacle design, not like a location or anything. An eye charm, I'll probably cut the strings off of that and recover the charm. Another ring. Cord necklace with, that looks like fossilized shell because of the banding. wire wrapped glass bead. So 
definitely get rid of the cord. Broken earring. Really fake turtle shell with magnetic clasp. That's probably vintage. I don't know when they stopped doing the magnetic plastic barrel clasp, but I'm gonna say like 90s. I could be really wrong though. Sapphire set in there. And it totally pulled out a whole bunch of hair and somebody got rid of it. I don't think it's marked, but I'm, I'm going to have to clean it uh, pretty well before I can actually see if there's a mark. Icing, ear cuffs. Definitely not very clean. I don't think it ends. We'll have to get there together after I get everything else through here. There's a seed bead earring. Put it over there with our other earrings. Normally my first uh, instinct is to lot or set aside shell necklaces just to double check them again later. This says Vogue Jewelry. I don't think I've ever gotten a Vogue piece. It's plastic, made to look like art glass. And then art glass heart, a really dirty cord. Wrapped in another necklace. Okay. This one says CO925 on it. It's actually a pretty nice necklace. Actually, it says CD, and there's a little bird, and it says 925. Bring that closer. And then same with that guy. See if I can put a little pop up of that mark. I don't know that mark. Philippines shell. Probably a napkin holder. Can't imagine that being somebody's bracelet. Another ring. There's a 1928 necklace in here. Maybe two 1928 necklaces. Two of them screwed together. The barrel clasps. Missing the seed pearl there. Not bad altogether, I guess. Another ring. Earring. Earring with stars. Somebody was very nice when they donated and clipped all the clip-ons together. Just painted metal.
these are stamps of Marvella on the back. Marvella, I think, is attached to another jewelry company. Like, one got bought by the other. I have a Marvella brooch in my Etsy shop right now that's an umbrella with little pearl raindrops on it. And I remember researching it, but I'll have to look it up again and seeing where it goes. KJL China. KJL did uh, a lot of work, I want to say in the 50s, maybe the 40s. He did a lot of those iconic Hollywood pieces. There's a whole chapter on him on a book that I have, but he did a lot of... Uh, just those really big statement pieces like this necklace where people just looked really elegant. And Cary Grant wore a pair of his cufflinks once. I have to look that up too. But this is a really nice necklace. It's heavy. It doesn't look like there's any verdigris on it. Everybody's still very lustry. Just needs a, a dusting. There looks like there's stuff on it from another necklace, but I'm really happy with this piece. This is actually kind of exciting. It just feels nice. Like you get those pieces and you get excited for them because it just feels nice. Nice weight. Doesn't have hair attached to it. I think this necklace goes with that really big earring we got. And then there's this one, which has weight but it has chipping and there's no knotting in between. So these are fake on memory wire. Not a bad piece, it might be a good cosplay piece if you need a pearl necklace to stay in a certain shape for a character. Um, but other than that, I don't see a lot of value in those necklaces. If you are a cosplayer and you see something that you think would make a good piece, let me know because I definitely unbox more than I list. And so if you see something, the best way to try to get it instead of watching the shop is just to let me know. And this is a What Would Jesus Do charm super glued to a guitar pick on a ball chain. So I'll probably just keep it for the ball chain and put the other bits away. I don't do a lot of repurposing with religious items. This feels like aluminum. Okay, we got this nasty one. This is some foil cord or something. There's metallic thread in here. And then these are either glass or they're real agate. So I'll probably scrap this for the beads. But uh, get rid of that cord. I'm not really a big fan of used cords. Okay, here we have we're almost there vintage barrel clasp in the plastic. So I'll test this plastic. It's probably, it's definitely too light for Bakelite, but it might test uh, for another necklace or another type of plastic, not for another necklace. But maybe not. It might be too modern to test for one of the older plastics. Just a string of beads. Done. Okay, we're almost to the end. These are fun bead colors. 
this might go in a lot or um, not necessarily craft lot but a lot of like theme necklaces it's homemade but it's made well and the colors go good together so we'll see if I, where I put that guy okay, I see a Leah Sophia tag on this big blue monster doesn't look like it's missing any links so that would probably get listed I know of Leah Sophia brand but I don't know a lot about the resale of it so I'll have to see if there's comps okay the chain's not marked Roman numerals for or it's just a Roman building okay so this is plastic and wood bead big guy untangled there's no other tag on it other than that one little one right there so that's a mystery but I'm glad I got this big guy untangled okay so that was the first big handful we got a couple good things out of there. Alright, here's the second half. Here comes my dog thumping down the stairs. I don't know if you guys can hear those when that happens, when they come down to visit while I'm recording. There's a lot of little things in here. This brooch is really pretty. All the stones are still there. I don't think it's marked. I'm gonna put that up there and see if I can't find it. This is an Anson tie clip. The seed pearl is still there. This is Anson right there. I've come across Anson before but I'm not very familiar with tie clips or men's accessories. Ooh! Ew. Ew. Band-aid. That's disgusting. Don't do that, guys. Don't. Ew. Black. I don't know what kind of material this is painted on. I'm gonna say this is Sarah Coventry. Might try to give it a clean. That might be bare degrees. It might be done. But this is the mystery piece I was talking about. Because this feels like a leather of some sort, but then it's painted on the side, and this side makes it kind of look like um something off a tree, like part of a pine cone or something. I don't know what that is. I'm suddenly not excited about this box after that band-aid. Giant bow hair clip. That's probably craft lot, different craft lot. It's plastic fake pearls. Oh, well, these guys broke even though they were clipped together. It's too bad. Got an Avon anchor earring. Nordstrom's bracelet. There's any marks on it. Nope, just a design. I like it when I find stuff with tags because then it might um, 
solve a mystery, and I believe that's a fruit sticker. That's a, this box is getting grosser. No mark in this one either. The pinky's getting full. That's a good snowflake. I don't think it's damaged. Be good for next season. It's a good little brooch. Monet earring. I don't know if there's another one. We got a pewter napkin ring. Somebody has one really big thumb. Lady talking from a stretch bracelet that broke. CFC feels like stone has this little Eiffel Tower and a coin type reproduction. That's not bad. I'll have to look up what CFC is. I'm not familiar. might be real. I don't see any stamping on the clasp. Oh, there it is. Alright, so inside the clasp, right here, this is uh, 14 karat. So these, these are probably real pearls. I don't have to see if they're cultured or freshwater. These are fake pearls. There's a bolo tie. I don't know about bolo ties. I know that they have a lot of history, so I don't... I'm not always eagle, eager... Eagle? I'm not an eagle either. I'm not always eager to take them apart just because they might be dingy, just because there is a lot of history with bolo ties. One of those plastic bangles. I just like to look it up before start dismantling something that's still technically good, just not dirty or broken. There's no point in upcycling if you have to take it apart first. He arose, he ascended, he's coming back, he came, he died. Oh, that's depressing life cycle. I'll just put that out there. The plastic. Let's see, the button books. A tomato. Electric chin. Some lips. There's a very weird selection of buttons. Okay, so we have more rings. This is a Sarah Coventry piece. It says so right inside. This doesn't say anything, but it's just, it's probably pewter. Feel of pewter. And that's just a little plastic cabochon glued in there because it's not glued on center. Let's see. Oh, he's sparkly. Looks like there's some bare degrees. So it's probably not real. Yeah, there's no mark in this one. So I'll have to test it to see if it's real or not. Oh, I missed a button. It's a rhino with its horn cut off. Somebody was very serious in this box. Okay, let's see. People in Ohio doing okay? You guys hanging in there? This box has some serious uh, little notes going on in it. Some mod hoops. Okay, I 
knew I saw another ring. There it is. And this one has a bunch of stamps in it. Which the only one I can read right now says 925. So I don't know. And then I'll test those guys. See if they're diamonds. Because there's a lot of little stamps in there. But I don't know if it's real. Alright, that's just a neat bracelet. There's no marks on this guy. But all of his stones are there. So he's cool. He might go in a lot. Or I'll sell him as is. Little stamped tin umbrella. Pretty lightweight, but that's pretty cute. Okay, our lights are on. Nope, hit metal. Moved a little bit. Nope, metal. Not moving. So, safe to say, not real. Probably glass. But we tried and we checked it out. I think I'm running out of fingers. There, there's a look. Okay, I've gotten Ellen Tracy before on a card. I think it's a Macy's brand and I got distracted because I don't recognize what's on the back of this. It says hi something. H-I-G-H -H, and then there's a couple letters behind it that I don't recognize. Um, so I'll have to research that guy. Screw back earring. Earring with some paddles on it. Very loud earring. No, there's nothing else written on the inside. It's just tool marks. Somebody had squeezed this clasp completely shut so if it didn't have these little safety locks here it would just come across because they squished this so flat so it just says in China on it oh there's another ring homemade one An angel that somebody stole the face off of. I'm starting to really worry about you, people in whole Ohio, where this box came from. Poor angel lost its face. So we have this big statement piece. Some really big colors. And a hitchhiker. Looks like it's a Charm and Charlie C. So I don't know if Charm and Charlie has a big following or not. I know the one in my area has closed down. So this is cool. This is marked 925, right there in the little crevice. 
I don't know what that material is that's pressed in there, glued in there. But that's pretty cool. I might find him a chain and sell him as is. Okay, we're down to the last handful. Well, this still has the china sticker on it. Put it up there with the rest of the bangles. I think that's pretty good. We can call that our thumbnail. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. This was a little bit of a mixed <clears throat> mixed box today. Just randomness. Definitely some pieces I have to research. Um, Vogue Jewelry, J-L-R-Y. And this new PRG. And of course our big Avon Locket. Some blingy brooches. So, homework, hopefully I'll have them in the pop-ups if I find anything. If not, they'll just be my research pile um, for me to keep researching to see if they come across a board or a forum or anything like that. Um, just because there's a lot of people out there that like to share a lot of knowledge and it might pop up or lead me to a clue and I might be able to figure it out. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope you're staying well out there, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.